Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay McKayla for those of you who don't know and if you do, that means you've been here before. So welcome back. Today is going to be a different type of video and I'm really excited for it. I went to the largest HBCU for a year and this is how it went. Yes, you all. So I went to North Carolina a and Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. So I went to the largest HBCU for a whole school year this is what this video is going to be about today because I just want to inform you guys about a school that I went to that you might want to go to and just know some ins and outs of how the school is. So yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to waste no more time. You, you just want to hear what you want to hear. So yeah, other than that, make sure you follow me on all of my socials. They'll be linked in the description box below. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright y'all, so boom, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm going to start off, I have my notes here, so if y'all see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. I'm just going to start off with, like, my auntie experience, but I'm going to also start off with, like, my high school experience, because y'all don't really know much about me school-wise, y'all just know me on a personal level, so I'm just going to explain that. I am 19 years old. I'm going to be a sophomore this year in college. I graduated high school 2022, so just last year. I was really happy. I was really excited. And my dream school was a and And it was my dream school because it had my major. My major is history education. Because I'm going to be a history teacher, so they had my major, so I was really excited for that. So I was a freshman at A&T for the 2022-2023 school year. Um, I stayed in Morrill Hall. Morrill Hall is a really great dorm. We'll get into that later. If you're going to A&T, pick, pick Morrill Hall. About the best dorm for freshmen that you could possibly do. That shit. Before I get into all of my experience at a and I just want to give a quick disclaimer. These are just my opinions. Um, no offense to anybody who goes to A&T, offense to anybody who wants to go to A&T. This is just my opinion, this is just my experience, um, I'm just saying, like, this is all me. So don't take anything so hard, but yeah, so now we can finally get into the experience. Alright y'all, so when I first got to a and I was really, really excited. Um, orientation was bomb. I went to the third orientation. We only had four last year. I was like, okay, auntie's not bad. It looks pretty big. And it was pretty big. Orientation was really good. Percussion came out from Cold Steel, um, from the band. Um, think about the school, taking a tour of the school, meeting ASLs, eating, having fun. It was a really good experience. I had a really good experience at orientation. I did skip out on a few things because I was just tired. It was a long day. A long day. And it was hot, so like the middle of August, it was hot. And so then after orientation, like you make your classes and you make your schedule and you already chose your dorm and stuff and everything like that. That's pretty much my orientation experience. Now my college experience was an array of things. Not even gonna hold you, it was just an array of things. It was just like, I'm free, freedom is here, freedom is mine, I'm going to use it. And boy, did I use it. So when I first got to my dorm, Moral Hall, it was just like, okay, it's not that bad, it's all right. I'm like, it's a traditional style dorm. Two beds in the same room, community style bathroom. I thought I was going to be perfectly fine because I've done community style before with like different church groups different like field trips where we had to like stay overnight and just share a bathroom I'm like oh this should be easy boy was it not girls are nasty we all know this girls are nasty but it's okay because I lived through 
a whole school year of it. It was just, it was just dirty. Just really, really dirty. And then I had a roommate. I didn't know my roommate because all the friends that I knew who were going to a and already had roommates. I was kind of late to the game because a and was kind of the last option even though it was the first option. It's about mental health really. But yeah, it was pretty much an okay living experience. I give it like a six out of 10 just because girls are loud, people are running. There will be random boys in the hallway one day when you're about to take a shower and you're literally wearing nothing but a robe. You'd be like, oh, excuse me. I didn't know you were in here. You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of like my living experience. But I give it a six out of 10 as a whole. Now for the learning experience. The learning experience was pretty good, I think. It's like, I went to class every day. I walked that campus. Oh, I walked that campus, yeah. So I'm mainly a history major, so I mainly had history classes, but I also took the general education courses as well. That's how that went out. And I'm just like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Everything was going well, everything was going fine. But like the first month I was there, and then parties entered into my life. Now I was raised in a strip household. I didn't really have, como se dice, freedom like that. Um, so I never went to a party ever in my life. Only like a birthday party or like a school event that wasn't even a party. So what I'm telling you, I'm going to off-campus parties every night for the first month slash like two months of school. It really catches up on you. I'll probably do a college advice video later in this back to school series, but it really catches you later in life, like later in the school year. Because I started procrastinating. I was going to party after party after party. I was getting tired. I was like, I don't feel like doing this at all. So I was like, I was kind of lacking a little bit on my work. So I ended the first semester with the GPA I was not happy with. And then second semester, I ended it with the GPA I was really not happy with. And um, I was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. It was things started taking a toll on me mentally Lee I cannot do it anymore I just couldn't just yeah I just could not and it wasn't even the parties it was just the lifestyle the door my roommate like everything together in my head was not clicking and it was just really bad so I'm just like ah oh, I can't do this and I was like, I quit. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like my school anymore. Everything is just, ugh. And I'm going to answer some questions later in this video because I got some questions from my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at the Lindsay Michaela. And I'm going to answer some questions, but everything that I'm about to talk about in these questions are going to be helpful. You're going to understand more on why, like I didn't want to be there anymore basically the college experience overall was a four out of ten i'm sorry it just it, it wasn't giving what it's supposed to be gay it's like ant put like a certain atmosphere of like oh yeah we're this we're that we're this we're that expectations versus reality in my opinion it just wasn't giving for me like mentally it was not giving so yeah so ending off with that story, I decided that I'm going to take my college experience, college learning experience elsewhere. So now I'm going to Norfolk State University, which is in my home state, but I'm going to be a sophomore transfer student. That's where I am deciding I'm going to go to further my education of history education. That's all I have for like college experience wise. So now we can go ahead and get into the questions of what people have to say about my experience on AT. So without further ado, let's go answer these questions. All right, y'all, I got my questions up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and answer. So the first question is, is there AC? Yes, yes, there is. There is AC. That's good to know because it was super cold during like the summer months, but it was good, but like, it was freezing and I'm anemic so I was like oh my gosh it is cold 
in here. Next, are Divine Nine a big thing or is it just A? At a and is a big thing, I think, in my opinion, because it was more like, if you were in the Divine Nine, if you had to rep some letters, you were superiority. That's what I had in my mind. This is, again, this is just my opinion, just my opinion. You might think otherwise. That's just my opinion. But I feel like Divine Nine is a big thing because like running for like elections and stuff, if you saw like somebody with some letters, I feel like they were gonna win. And it normally happened that they were gonna win. So Divine Nine, big thing. Next question, how is popularity or is it within your own friend groups? I'm smiling because this one took a toll on me. Socially, I am not that great with like meeting new people and meeting like the right people. I always get done dirty. But at a and it seemed like I cannot make any friends at all. And I was like, why can't I make friends? Like, and I made a few friends that are good, but I want to like a good like group of friends and I never had a friend group. So if you know people, and I can't even say like, if you know somebody who's going to a and with you, like be close, but you're probably not even going to see them. Cause I knew a lot of people who went to a and and I never saw them around campus at all. That's how big the campus is, 13,000 kids. It's probably even more now. And about popularity, it's more like, if you're popular on social media, you're gonna be popular in AD. So yeah, popularity is a big thing at AD. All right, is it safe or did you feel safe on campus? Um, this question also takes a toll on me too. I, I, mm, safety was a good five out of 10. And I'm saying this because, yeah, I felt safe, but then again, there was a lot of shootings around in the surrounding areas because we're in Greensboro. We are in Greensboro, the ghetto. So is did I feel safe on campus? Not really. Like that time where that guy with all that ammunition, all those guns, all that machete and everything that was on the news, and security didn't tell us anything I learned from the side chat app. Yeah, that's when I knew that there was, I didn't feel really safe on there. Would you recommend it to someone who has attended PWIs most of their life? Um, You can do it. I know you can, but you can do it for sure. It's just gonna be a culture shock for you. Like you're gonna get the HBCU experience. One thing I can't say anti is the HBCU experience. Like A&T, like, is top tier with the HBCU experience. Like, you really, like, feel black. <laughs> like, you feel good that you're here and that you're black because... <laughs> like, that's how I felt when I was on my HBCU campus. And they call it the illustrious HBCU. Yeah, it's illustrious, all right. Just a little weird, but illustrious. The next question, how are boys? Boys are boys. They are going to be the same no matter where you go. Maybe. At HBCU, they're bolder in my opinion. Like, they are bold. Like, they will walk up to be you and be like, yo, shawty, you cute. Let me get your number. That has happened to me a few times. And I'm like, oh, okay. And they'll just stare at you, especially at AT. The boys there, they just stare. So be. Be prepared for watchful eyes, okay? Because they're going to be there. The next question is, what should someone look forward to or be aware of when going there? The chants, the dances, and that's about it. Learn the chants, okay? Because I like doing the chants. Like, I love a good chant. So, learn the chant. And also learn the dances too, because that makes your HBC experience better. Let's see, what's the hardest thing to deal with at a and Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi there sucks. Like, it sucks bad. Real bad. I'm like, for this big campus, y'all Wi-Fi sucks? Yeah, it was bad. Just get a hotspot. Or just go to a place that has somewhat decent Wi-Fi, which is like the student center and the library. That's where I always hang out at to get good Wi-Fi. But in that door. 
Yeah. Okay, the next question is roommate experience. I put the phone down for this one. My roommate experience was terrible. I'm so sorry to my roommate, but it was bad. She was weird. I didn't like her. We couldn't compromise on anything. So when it comes to roommates, make sure you find a good roommate. And like, if you already know somebody, that's easy. But like, if you don't know who they are, try to reach out and like get to know them over the summer. So you know what to do by the time y'all get there to the campus because I should I probably should have did that before I um, got there I mean I reached out to her and she reached out to me back but like that was pretty much it for like one summer and then that day we met so make sure you know who your roommate is okay all right and last question is why did I leave in care I left for mental health I felt like my mental health wasn't that heard was not seen and I was just suffering deeply. And I was like, I think this campus is way too big for me. It's way too, a lot of, whole lot of, whole lot of, I'm not making, I'm not doing anything socially. Emotionally, I'm a wreck. Physically, I'm tired. But yeah, I just left because I didn't feel good there anymore. I didn't feel like it was a safe space for me. So I decided to leave. So that's what I did. I left. I hope that was a good explanation, a good reason. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I informed you in somewhat way. I hope I made sense of this video. I know I rambled a lot, a lot. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on all of my socials. They'll be linked in the description box below. But one more thing, y'all like my shirt? Y'all like my shirt? Y'all like my shirt? Y'all like my shirt? It is from Habits New York, and you also can get the same shirt for 15% off using my code Nalanzi Magela. So we can be 20. So if y'all like my shirt, it's very cute. It's very cute. Make sure you go to the HabitsNewYork.com website and buy this using my code Nalanzi Magela, so you can get 50% off off your order. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.